All right, coming up next, it's a welterweight showdown between Jorge Masvidal and Dustin Poirier. Well, he's got a key to the city of Lafayette, Louisiana, but with the present company, Daniel Cormier here, I'm not sure I'm gonna go so far as to call him the king of Lafayette, but Dustin Poirier has become a UFC champion and he remains one of the best lightweights in the world. If he's not the king of Lafayette, he's one of the kings of the UFC's lightweight division. A phenomenal striker, has such great boxing, big, strong, long arms, and an ability to fight through so much adversity to try and accomplish his goals. He's one of the most exciting fighters in the lightweight division, but also has the ability to knock you out and just out grind you over 25 minutes. And at times competing as a featherweight, he was almost a victim of his own success. He did so well that he stayed down there. Of course, since moving up to 155 pounds, he has put his best foot forward, and he draws yet another elite lightweight in this spot tonight. Well, if you're just getting into fighting and you're looking for a fighter to support, you can do worse than Jorge Gamebred Masvidal, really a guy who's easy to root for and coming off some of the biggest wins of his career recently. He is starting to get everything right. For as long as Jorge Masvidal has been in this game, you always had the feeling that there was still work to be done in order to truly reach his optimal form. I feel like now he's finally getting it. And people overlook the fighter's mentality of Jorge Masvidal. We talk about Kimball Slice in the back there fighting, but Jorge Masvidal was right next to him. Right. He was back there fighting just for the sake of fighting. And he has done that in the octagon, and now he's finally putting it all together as he tries to make his way to a UFC title fight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 28 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Dustin the Diamond Poirier! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 16 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Game Red Masvidal. All right, make the rules in the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your corners, come out fighting. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to this. Nice strike. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice job by Dustin Poirier there. Sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line and watch from the counter with that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. 
this striker has come out swinging and he's a very aggressive guy but you got to be careful i would think to not overextend yourself yeah you would think you got to slow down but not this guy this guy knows that he can secure finishes on the feet or if he gets taken down to his back but ideally for him he wants to be knocking you guys out Nice job to set up the counter there. He waited patiently, and when his opponent got a little bit over-aggressive, he greeted him with a beautiful counter. Nicely done. Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by Poirier. Big punch land over the top. I'll just oh. follow this one. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. So we put up the numbers here. 28 total strikes have landed for Dustin Poirier. Oh, man, he's a hard. Big knee to the body. Poirier does a better job when he's the guy going forward. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Poirier. All right, so the former interim lightweight champ, Dustin Poirier, in a good striking flow here tonight, DC. That left hand nearly put his opponent out. Nearly puts him out, and you can't take many of them. Dustin's so big and physically strong for 155. I can't believe he can fight a feather. He looks like he could never have made that weight. He's found his home at lightweight. You can see the damage he comes to in one strike. Yeah, he fixed it all up. Goes to the body there. So again, trying to bait his opponent in here, looking to set up yet another counter. Yes, that's exactly what he's doing. He wants and needs his opponent to strike first. Not always easy being a counter striker. The crowd can get on you a little bit. But he has not deviated from the game plan here tonight. And they separate. Just out of range with that right hook. Punch coming, it's blocked. Straight right hand, no good. Poirier's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Beautiful body kick. Good stick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, Masvidal in a real flow here, sticking and moving. The crowd is like just reacting every time he moves. Masvidal now has the crowd eating out of his hand. The one thing about Jorge that makes him so difficult to deal with is he never allows you to trap him. When you think you got him trapped to try to hit the four takedown, he evades and escapes. He's a phenomenal fighter. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Oh, big left hook there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, timely hook. Oh! Nice combination of kicks there by Dustin Poirier. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep throwing them. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. 
Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Well-placed kick there by Gabriel. And that one certainly found the target. Big ball from Punch Land. Now he gets back in range. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Just out of range with that right hand. Back and forth we go! Single collar tie now. Oh, how good is that Fourier jab? He's got huge hands and certainly was able to find the home for his jab there. I mean, the king of Lafayette has got it going tonight. Dustin Fourier fights from the southpaw, but he's a right-handed guy. That's why that jab does so much damage to his opponent. Oh, nice jab. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. 94 total strikes have landed for Dustin the Diamond Poirier. Well, not this fighter's most accurate effort to date necessarily, DC. Landing with 33% accuracy here against Jorge Masvidal. Just over three minutes to go now. Blocks the shot. Game break gets caught with that punch. Poirier's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Right hand punch from the clinch. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result has really picked up the pace in round two. And he landed the right hand there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed a double leg takedown attempt here. And that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Fighters back to their feet here. Ooh, blocks the shot. Under two minutes now to go. Great punch. Such a fast leg kick. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. Poirier getting tattooed by that stiff jab. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fights. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, oh he's hurt back. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. He blocks the punch. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Both fighters throwing heat now. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, nice right hand. 30 seconds to go in round two. <laughs> 20 seconds left to go in round two. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Left hand punch with the clinch. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, is the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent. You gotta be aware when you're chest to chest 
in this 50-50 position. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Still so round the way. All right, so Justin Poirier with a nice one-two there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up. He has natural power in the right, but he's developed great power in the left. He's a problem, man. He's big, he's strong, and Dustin Poirier has unbelievably long arms for such a small guy. That's why the jab gets there so often and is so damaging to his point. Oh! News hurts. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. Whiffs on the elbow. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Effective punch there by Poirier. Pretty good knee to the body by Gaidre. Dustin Poirier. While not the most efficient effort today, the numbers landing with 34% accuracy thus far against Jorge Masvidal. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Every time he's got... Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away. Bad. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Well, he's got his back now under the neck. Oh, and now he flattens him out, DC. A couple hooks in. This could be trouble. Look at all that hip pressure he has into his opponent's back. Now he'll start to rain down brutal ground and pop. And you better intelligently defend here. This could be the beginning of the end. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down good strikes in your post. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Dustin Poirier. Pretty good right hand. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lundley out has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 36 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jorge Dane Wynn. All right, so
there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.